Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to NRG Kids. And today you might notice we're in a different location. We are here at the Garvin's Micro Church. So we're going to start off with our um, Hello acronym, which you all should know by now because we do it every we do it every week. So the H stands for Have Full Life. The E is Everyone is Looked After. L is the first L is Learn. Second L is Listen, and the O is Open to Hear God. So I'm hope that you we are to take these values into. Um, Today and like every day of the week. So now we're going to sing the first song, which Maria is going to lead. Good morning, everyone. It's great to be with you again. And we welcome all of you, those of you that are on Zoom with us and all of you that are watching us on YouTube. It's great to have you all with us. So the first song we're going to sing today is Every Move I Make, the one that we've done um, the past couple of weeks. So hopefully you might be able to remember that. And remember the actions um, and join in doing it with us. All right, so stand up if you need to. We'll just get get ready to go. All right, you ready? Let's go. Na 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 Every move I make, I'm making you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Na 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 Every move I make, I'm making you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Waves of mercy, waves of grace. Everywhere I look, I see your face. Your love has captured me. Oh my God, this love. How can it be? Na 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 Every move I make, I'm making you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Ways of mercy, ways of grace. Everywhere I look, I see your face. Your love has captured me. Oh my God, this love, how can it be? Na 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 well done, everybody. I don't know if you noticed, but we have some friends that have been running in and out joining us, Sophie's dogs, Albie and Peggy. So if you see them, you can um, you can have a little laugh at them because they, they want to join in Energy Kids too. They think it's so fun that they want to be a part of Energy Kids too. So that's pretty fun, isn't it? God accepts all of us, whether we're people or animals. He loves us all, doesn't he? All right, so Sophie's going to um, do the story for us now. Hey guys, do you ever wonder why you have to go to bed so early? Why you have to pick up all your toys? Or why you have to clean your plate when you go to Aunt Ruth's house for dinner? Even if it's liver? Sometimes I think rules are just plain silly. But then Larry told me that there were a whole lot of people in the Bible who thought rules were silly too. He told me the story of Josh and the big walls. And there's Josh and the big wall. Remember how God helped the slaves escape Egypt? He had a special place for them to go called the Promised Land. But unfortunately, as they got closer to the Promised Land, the Israelites started doing things their way and ignoring God's rules. When that happened, things got a little goofy. So God let them wander in the desert for a while, about 40 years. 
When God decided the Israelites were ready to go into their new land, he chose Joshua to be their leader. Off they went until, bump, they bumped right into a huge wall blocking the land called Jericho. Two French kings were standing guard on the wall. Who are you? they asked. I'm Joshua, and these are, my ch- these are the children of Israel. God has given us the land for our new home. So you're, um, you're going to have to leave. We didn't have a lot of fun in the desert. We didn't have a lot of fun in the sand. The French peas just laughed. Go away, you tiny pickle, they said to Joshua. One of the soldiers laughed so hard he knocked a cup full of slushy right on their heads. Joshua decided to ask God what to do. The answer he got wasn't something the Israelites expected. God told Joshua that God told Joshua to have the Israelites march around the city every day for seven days. Jimmy and Jerry Gord thought that was crazy, so they came up with their own way to bring the walls down. Bring down the walls of Jericho. The wall made a three thousand. That's when Jimmy Asparagus stood up and said, "God gave us directions, and we're ignoring them." Things always work out better when we do things God's way instead of our own way. I've got slushy in my ear. Blowing horns in the desert isn't going to do it. So the next seven days, the Israelites marched around the walls of Jericho, even when the pea guards dropped slushy on them. The Israelites followed God's plan and did exactly what God said. On the seventh day, they marched around Jericho seven times while the priests blew their horns. With one final trumpet blast, the people shouted, and there was a great rumbling. The walls fell down, just as God had promised. Now, the Israelites could enter the Promised Land. You see, Joshua explained, sometimes God asks us to do things that don't make sense to us. But when we remember God loves us and wants what's best for us, we can be sure that his way is the best way. The Lord has given us this land. We know that he will take care of us if we will, if we will follow him. And then the Bible story. Sometimes it's hard to understand all the, God, all the rules God wants us to obey. But God wants us to obey him because he loves us so much. He shows us that over and over you can read about, you can read about that in the Bible. And you can read about that in Joshua 5 verses 13 to chapter 6 verses 27. Guess what? I sure do feel more like obeying the rules now. God makes rules because he loves us. He gave me parents to take care of me, and they make rules because they love me too. So I guess I'd better pick up my toys. My mum and dad probably give me a bedtime so I don't get tired and sick. And I'll clean my plate when I go to Aunt Ruth's house, even if it's liver. Have you ever felt a rule was silly? Ask a grown-up you trust to explain it to you. There's probably a good reason for it. And remember, God made you special and he loves you very much. And the verse we have for today is, If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love. John 15.10 So we're going to say that a few times. Ready? If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love. John 15.10 Maybe one more time. If you you obey obey my commands, you will remain in my love. John 15, 10. Cool. And now I think we're heading back over to my head for another song. So we're going to do another song now. Um, now, I'm pretty sure that maybe some of you guys from um, the Wynyard groups might do this one at your Sunday school. So maybe you might know this one and maybe some of you guys watching on YouTube will too. It's called Our God is a Great Big God. Put your hand up if you know that one. It's okay if you don't because we're going to go through it a couple of times and teach you how it goes. So um, if you need to, you can stand up. Um, or just get ready to get ready to sing and um, do the actions um, and hopefully you'll get to know it soon if you're not sure how it goes. You ready? Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. 
Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. He's higher than the skyscraper and he's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands, and He holds us in His hands, and He holds us in His hands, and He holds us in His hands. Well done. I see some of you doing the actions there. I think we've got enough time if you'd like to do it one more time. Should we do that one more time so you can learn it a bit more? I think it's a great song, so we'll do it one more time. It reminds us that. God's got everything under control, doesn't he? And like that story said, if we follow God's rules, then it will go well for us. All right, so let's sing it one more time. You ready? Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and he holds us in his hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. He's higher than the skyscraper and he's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hand. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and he holds us in his hands, and he holds us in his hands, and he holds us in his hands, and he holds us in his hands. Well done, everyone. Give yourselves a big clap. All right, now I'm going to hand over to Kate, and she's going to pray for us. Okay, so let's finish our time together in prayer. Dear God, thank you for the time that we get to spend together learning more about you, God. And I just pray that each of the kids, no matter if they're watching live or they watch later or they just haven't been out to watch this morning, that they feel your love and they know that you're out there to support them throughout the week. So just thank you, God, for everything that you do for all of us. Amen. Amen. All right, so we'll say bye to those of you who are watching on YouTube and we'll be able to say a quick hi to those of you on Zoom. Bye. bye.